Hi folks, I'm Kevin. This is Real World Natural Living and I haven't done a video in about a month. I've been super busy with some things uh, which I'm going to do another video about. Uh, but today I want to talk to you about your brassicas, things like your broccoli and your kale and your Brussels sprouts, things of that nature. Uh, if you haven't covered them up, you're going to need to right away and I'm going to tell you why and I'm going to show you my cheap inexpensive way of covering them up. So I just got to do a little bit of watering first. So I'm just giving my garden a water. Uh, we're gonna have uh, three days of weather uh, that's gonna be in the plus 30 degrees Celsius. Uh, so that's pretty hot. I wanna make sure they get a good base of water for that. And then I'll do that in a day or two if it doesn't rain again as well. Last year we had so much drought and everything. This year things have been going better, but when I get a stretch like that, um, of a few days in a row, I like to make sure that I give it a good water if it hasn't rained in the last day or so. So covering your brassicas, your broccolis, uh, your kale and such is super important in the summer uh, because there's a couple of pests that are really bad and they will destroy your crop uh, if given the chance. So first one is those white moths you see fluttering around. I think they're actually butterflies. But what they're going to do is they're going to lay eggs uh, usually from what I've noticed on the bottom side of the leaf, uh, three to four hundred per per uh, butterfly. Uh, so what that does is that gives you those cabbage worms, those little green ones there, and they will chomp up your crop. Uh, right now, I've been really good. I just put this one on here. Uh, so it's been good so far and I wanted to get it on before I had any issues. Another reason is the flea beetles and those are those little tiny black beetles. They come in droves. Uh, some people call them canola bugs. I think uh, once the canola fields um, get cut down, at least this is what I've heard, then they'll come in in droves. Uh, last year we had them really bad. Uh, so there's a few things you can do for that and one of them is uh, covering. I find that's the best thing to do is just cover it up because uh, they'll come in and they'll just uh, start chomping on your crop. Last year uh, we had it so bad we went out in the evening and you could actually hear them chomping on uh, our plants. So uh, just a couple things to look out for. So one of the things you can do obviously is the netting like I have here. I'll show you better. I don't know if you can see it in this part, uh, but the netting here, I've got a super cheap way to do it and uh, I'm going to show you. So this is kind of what the netting looks like here. This is in my front yard and this is where I have my kale and I have some lettuce here too. Uh, you can see through there, I'll take this off in a minute, but you can see all my kale and stuff is doing really well in there. So this net was super cheap. I got this on Amazon. Um, I'll leave a link down in the description. It's a really good one. Some of the ones you get off Amazon are uh, really cheap and as soon as they get rained on they just go to mush really. This is like a, a screen like material and then uh, for this here I just use this is actually underwire from a fence. Uh, that you run under the bottom of a fence. So I had some of that laying around and this stuff isn't expensive in the store either. You could probably even use a thick coat hanger as well. And you can see that I just have it down into the ground. It goes down into the ground here and I have that down and I actually have them over here. You can see that most of them, I just tied, tied the, uh, the wire to a stick here, kind of. And then I used a bulldog clip to actually clip the netting on to the wire. And I did that all over the place, um, front and back as well. You can see there, I, my bulldog clip is buried down here, but it is there. I don't know if you can see that. And then I have one here as well. So it's a super cheap way. The bulldog clips, I can leave a link. I got them from my local office store, but I can leave a link in the description if you want to check out Amazon as well. So this is a super easy way to uh, cover your stuff. So it's super easy to take off the netting here. Uh, you know, you do have to harvest and you may want to water without the netting as well. I'll talk about that in a bit. So you just take off the bulldog clip here. I'm not sure if that's what it's called, but that's what I'm calling it. Um, and then you just lift up and it's simple and you have access and you can go right over. And these are actually clipped on the other side too. So the other side kind of stays put where it is. So you can just lift that all up. I'll go ahead and do that and I'll show you the garden. So this is what it looks like while it's just lifted up. 
and you can see the wire here uh, that goes right down into the ground and I probably put that about a foot into the ground on each side and then uh, yeah you have easy access to everything forgive the uh, lawnmower my neighbor decided to cut the lawn now I think the neighbor finally finished cutting grass. Joys of living in the city. So I also grow some brassicas here in some buckets and you can do the same thing. Um, it works great. I did this last year here and it worked perfect. So here I'll just give you another quick look. You can see that I just put um, the wire right down into the bucket here. Put it over. You can see that I've got it tucked underneath the buckets here. Uh, I've got some Brussels sprouts here and then I've got uh, a bunch of broccoli and stuff. So I am getting little bits of broccoli now, which is cool. And you can see I did the same thing here. I just put uh, bulldog clips there. And in the middle on this one, I put a stick up here just to kind of make this a little bit tighter, which you can also do on the other ones if you find you need to. And so a cool thing about this mesh here is that I can water right through it. Again, I'll leave a link for this particular uh, mesh that I got from Amazon uh, down below in the description box. And if you're liking the content, I hope that you'll uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and uh, hit that notification bell. Ding, ding. So I just wanted to take a quick second to give you a little pro tip. I don't know if it's a pro tip, but it's my tip. Uh, so here's my brassicas here. And I put up this tarp here. Uh, just to create some shade so this way is west so the sun is coming over the house and coming this way last year I got zero broccoli out of this patch here uh, I'm already getting some I've already took a small bit off um, it was a really hot year we had pretty much a month of uh, 30 above weather so this year I wanted to take a precaution so I just put up some poles and I put a tarp here just to give it some late day shade when it gets into the real hot heat around four o'clock. I should also mention that it's um, July 14th, 15th, right around there right now. So, you know, we're getting into the thick of the things. The broccoli is going to start producing right away, hopefully uh, more than it is right now. And, uh, you know, we get that really hot heat. So this was a good way to, uh, I thought, to give it some shade and I've used it a number of times. I bring it up and down when I don't need it. When it's not that hot, I put it down. When I need it, I put it up. I just have it up with some clips and stuff. So there I have a fence post uh, and that's just pounded into the ground. And I've got my tarp clipped on there. And then over here, I have some uh, four by fours that the neighbor gave me, um, which was really cool. And I just have them tied to the fence. You can see that uh, right in there. So they're not pounded into the ground at all. And then over here, I have the same one. And then I just have these uh, clamped onto the poles here. And that middle pole, I don't even have it clamped. So it was really cheap and inexpensive. Sometimes you got to use kind of what you got. And that's sort of an overall look at it. So that's it. Uh, cover up your brassicas right away. That's your broccoli, your kale, Brussels sprouts, and any other brassica you might have. Um, because it can happen just like that. Those flea beetles can come um, just in the middle of the season and they will come in droves. And same with those white, uh, white moths, cabbage moths, whatever. Uh, you don't want them laying eggs because those, those worms that they produce are gonna eat your crop uh, and nobody wants that. So uh, remember folks, the most important thing, take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next video.